Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and we are back in Lima, continuing where we left off last time. Hopefully you're having a great day or evening, night, whatever it is. And uh, we'll go ahead and continue and try to get as far as we can. I see a blue orb over there, so we'll definitely go and get that. And here's a power source. And I'm guessing we have to walk power over to, ouch, to an explosive. I'm guessing those those yellow orbs are going to be important. Yeah, the, or not orbs, but squares. I see an orb. I'm going to talk about an orb, <laughs> I guess. All right, let's go ahead and um, talk. This is new. I can create things. What's going on? I'm guessing she's talking about the wall running and all of that. This place responds to your thoughts. You're just acclimating. Wow, what else can I do? Well, apparently I'm not acclimating fast enough because I'm stuck in this room. No, we're not gonna say that. Hopefully nothing. Please, just don't touch anything. Spark is so nice. Oh, there's a note there. <laughs> November 27th, Mark, is it such a stretch to think that we can change the world through nothing but pure willpower? That's cool. Um, that looks like a wall run thing. Boom! I really love explosives. There we go, and I think I saw the orb over here, so we'll go ahead and check that out. There we go. Oh, uh, <laughs> move forward. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and look around. Oh, there's a note. Let's see, November 27th, Mark. An RNG machine generates a random endless pattern of ones and zeros. Sit someone down, anyone, and tell them to make the machine generate only ones. Just by thinking about it. After a few thousand numbers, you'll start to see a pattern. So is that actually the, like, you know, games like this one and programs that you use in your day-to-day -day are created via ones and zeros. Does that mean that we can manipulate ones and zeros? Wow, that thing is really cool. By uh, essentially programming it with our minds. I guess that's what he's talking about. Okay. Uh, hmm. I guess we have to uh, cover those crosses by doing the wall run. Okay, let's go ahead and see what this says. January 24th, Mark. I call it the monolith. It's like the control rods in a nuclear reactor. It holds the four rods at the perfect height to maintain equilibrium. Five supports hold it in place. What would happen if those supports collapse? And it looks like on the picture where those supports are, there's a little red check marks or X's or just little dabs of red. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Oh, it has that explosive cube under them. So, I guess by creating, uh, fixing those holes, it will explode these. Alright, let's go ahead and go for, oh, there's a signal tower. Let's see here. I'm at the base of some kind of giant structure. What do I do with this thing? Nothing. Don't touch it. I have no idea what could happen if anything goes wrong there. Okay. Fine. I don't need your help. Uh, um. Okay. Come on. You're not a bit curious, or not? You're not curious at all. <laughs> Please just try to find a way out. Do not mess with anything. All right. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll go. What is? Let me get past this. What is that? I think we're going to go from left to right. 
And I think that is the best thing to do, but that thing is more artificial intelligence, I guess. All right, let's go here. Wow, oh, did I even run them all to get that? Okay, yellow platforms. Let's see, let's look up here. I believe if we go up here and then we'll all run over, we should be able to make it. Yep. Oh, those dissolve under you. Okay. And there's that first one. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, one explosive. Oh. Oh, good. I saved myself. I was pretty sure I wasn't going to make that. Okay, I can hear him now. Oh, what? Okay. I'm going to go back over here, I think. I think if I get right back up there, I should be able to uh, go across these beams over here that look like they're at that same height. So, we'll do... Whoa. <laughs> We'll do the same thing that we did before. So we created ourselves a little catch. So that's cool. All right, so we're gonna go from here. Yep, over to here. And there we go. And I don't see that guy. So let's go ahead and We'll run, see if we can catch ourselves. Yeah. And I kind of want to go back the way we came. This way, we're always continuing to the right or whatever perspective you're in at the time. So. Okay. I wonder if. I don't think you have to cover up both sides because it's still the same rod. So let's go ahead and slide out over here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just run down over here. There we go. That guy is right where we need to be. All right, so... I'm pretty sure if I jump over there, I'm not going to make it all the way to that wall to where I want to be. So we'll go ahead and take this wall to here. And I hear the bebops of that guy. And let's see if I can just roll it out. All right, cool. And I might be able to... Yeah, I think I can make that now. All right, and come up and over. Catch it, okay. <laughs> this game is really fun because it really allows you to adapt yourself um, to any kind of environment, which then gives you the ability to just have fun or free running. I don't remember what did we get all the notes in this level? I don't remember if I don't remember seeing what what the number was. All right, that was not comfortable. That hurt a, a little. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run to that yellow. And then hopefully get across to there without dying. Catch it? Okay. I think we're good. There we go. That's four explosives. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Catch! Oh my goodness. 
Well, good thing is, I'm back to where I wanted to be because we got that already marked off. Uh, why did I do that? Okay. <sighs> Let's do it this way. Alright. I'm good with that. So he's there. I think if we come down to here, we'll go over this way, even though we don't need to cover that one. Okay, good. We're good there. Come down to here. And we're going to jump over to there and see how far over that way we can get. Okay, we're good. We still have a pretty far way to go up. Is he coming this way? I don't know. He, she, it. Okay, we can't go there, but I wonder if... Yes. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and go here. That was five out of five. So something's supposed to happen, I guess. What in the world is that? What is, what is that? What's that cube? Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it anywhere. Oh, that hurt, but I got there. Alright, let's go this way. And go back over to this thing, I guess. Um. Alright. <laughs> We're gonna leave it let it let it do what it wants to do Okay, we're back at the the signal What is wrong with you? You have to get out of there. It's collapsing Okay Oh, there's a red dot hours ago so did we travel <laughs> into the past we're waking up from a dream that happened eight hours from now 
Or did we go in eight hours from now and the dream allowed us to come back to here? So many questions. Um, there's a page there. Dr. Laura Reinhardt, UC Berkeley Anthropology Department. Joan, as your old advisor and friend, I felt it necessary to bring this article to your attention. Your research so perfectly and specifically qualifies you to work with this people group. Okay, we've heard that before. It's almost scary. I don't mean to impose, but I would almost consider it your duty. Uh, I would consider it your duty to go to work with these tribes. Oh, so you think it's it's my duty because you would do it kind of thing. This is the whole Brazil thing that Mark kept bringing up. Can we open these doors? He kept saying that, um, that he wanted us to go to Brazil because we were the only people who could speak with this people group. It's almost alienating them as non-people uh, because they're, they're, I don't know, maybe it's just that they are a group of people. Uncontacted tribe murders four logging workers. Acre, Brazil. The bodies of four loggers were found deep in the jungle late last evening. The government was unaware of indigenous peoples, peoples in the area, but a helicopter survey earlier survey earlier this morning resulted in the startling picture above. All right, I'm looking at it. And though you can't see where I'm pointing, there's in the middle over to the left, looks like there's a hut. And then right in front of that hut is what looks like a guy holding some kind of a stick or staff or something along those lines. Two notes. Okay. Oh, that was the second note. All right. So let's move forward. Oh, what? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you really screwed it, uh, screwed this up bad. The destabilization is spreading. Where is it safe? How can I, or how do I stop it? Okay, how do I stop it? It's complicated. We'll, we'll talk more later. For now, keep moving forward. How do I get out? What about you? Where are you anyway? Just worry about yourself. I'm fine. I'll be fine. You should be in the fractured Terrence now. By the time you get out, uh, get through them, them as in there's more than one of these apparently, I should be able to open the Tesseract to get you home. Okay. So there's a big door. And there's that kind of... Uh, it's a square with... Kind of looks like a, a twirly thing. I don't know what you, I don't know what you call them. But it, it looks like there's a... Yeah, there's a light on the very bottom one. There's that red weird thing above it. Okay, there's another red weird thing. Okay, there's a strip of, like, an electrical strip for what we have to normally use to open a Tesseract. So, I'm guessing that's what we're going to. Okay, that's too high, so we'll have to all run. Yeah, okay. That reminds me so much of like Tron. The old Tron back in the day. Where the big huge flying things would come and pick you up or kill you. The good old days of, of Tron. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and... Can I... I just oh I didn't mean to go up there that works 
Alright, let's just fall down here. If we can. There we go. We're, we didn't hurt ourselves. Alright, and let's look at this thing. Alright, so... I'm guessing... I'm, I'm not really going to guess much right now, but... I'm guessing the fact that the light is down in this corner is important. Alright. Anyway, we've studied it long enough. Let's go ahead and continue on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't make that. What's that red thing? I hope it's not another AI. Well, we're gonna wall run around it just to get away from it. Oh, what? It did attack us. Alright, let's see what's going on here. I made it. I don't know how I made it. There's a, okay, there's an orb there. How do I get it? And there's the Tesseract. Alright. Um, let's go back down here. And then we'll come down here. Try not to fall through that hole down there. And, whoa! Okay, we covered it. The hole is covered! <laughs> Alright, there's that orb. Grab it! Okay, we're good. Whew. One orb of one. Oh boy, that's not looking very promising. Can we roll out? Yeah, we can. Okay, let's try it again. No dying this time. Okay. And we're going to have to go all the way over back on his side. His. It's. Oh! Jeez! I do not like that thing at all. All right, let's try to get back up there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and try to get back up there. Oh, that's bad, bad, badness, bad. Get, go, go. <laughs> you lost it. You lost. Oh, what did I do? Did I get hit by the thing? All right, I'm going to go a different route this time, I believe. Oh, that's... I'm dead. How did I not die? What? It can be broken? Alright, let's go back over here. And then do this. Then we're gonna... Here, jump here. I think it was come around here, and then try to go up there. All right, this has that same thing on it, but the light has moved up. Is it a map? Let's go ahead and go through here. it's a map. I think it's got to be a map. All right, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end it here today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it and want to see more, please subscribe, like below, and leave me a comment if you have any games that you want me to play or if you have any questions about this game. 
I am always looking for the updates and trying to keep um, kind of acclimated to what's going on with the game because I really like this game. So if there's been any patches since the last time that I played, I will probably put those patches in the next video and that way we can always continue to get an update of what's going on. Really like games that work on their game and always update them. So again, I hope you have a great day, a great night, a great week, and soon to be weekend. Peace out.